right now you guys are about to watch the shortest big brother review that i have ever done so far since i started reviewing in season 16. tonight's episode of big brother season 17 episode 32 was mind-boggling but I can't say that I'm too surprised that Meg and James went home back to back because they chose to keep Vanessa and then Vanessa led the charge to get them kicked out of the house and it worked. Who do I think is going to make it to the end of this game? The twins and Vanessa because the guys will all be voted out one by one by one because they are under the spell of each of these women. Steve will never vote out Julia because he likes Julia. Johnny Mac said he wanted Vanessa out, but he's going to be blindsided and won't see it coming. And Austin's completely blinded by Liz, despite the fact that he could honestly care less about Julia. He basically seems to be appeasing Liz so that he, can, he and uh, Liz can keep on Fingergate, basically. If you don't know what Fingergate is, Google it. Just Google it. I don't even want to get into it. But he's so blinded by Liz that he's going to be out of this house as well. I don't see any male making it to the end. Even though it seems like the odds are against these women, it's not. Not at all. Because those three, the twins and Vanessa, are together. And I'm telling this to all the people who do not have the feeds. Those three are a strong trio and even though it seems like Vanessa is you know allied with Steve and Johnny Mac don't be fooled because she'll turn on them in an instant and Vanessa's already begun to split up the twins from Austin because she wants the twins for herself and when it comes down to it if Vanessa wins this game I won't be surprised and I won't be annoyed because Everybody else allowed her to. People see what she's doing, yet they still continue to allow her to remain in this game. And they see how strong the twins are, and they're still in this game. Honestly, Meg had a better chance of staying in this game if Shelly was still in the game because Shelly liked Meg. But James could have fought hard to win the veto and win some HOHs. Maybe he would have gone home, but at least he had a better chance than with Vanessa. I mean, I am super happy that I watched this episode as it aired versus watching it at 11.35 because I probably would have been carrying on and fussing and, and probably cussing <laughs> and woken up most of my neighbors around me. Like, they really need to hear me talking considering how many videos I do reaction videos and reviews and such and I've been doing since 2014 <laughs> I still think some of them think that I'm up here talking to myself but I'm I'm not not at all I'm talking to you guys um I understand the frustration of many fans on social media because I feel the same way I've been watching this show since 2000 I have a love-hate relationship with quite a few seasons. There are some house guests I can't stand, but I respect their gameplay. And then there's some houses I like, house guests that I like, but I don't like their gameplay. But this season, all my faves are gone. But for the most part, I really don't like this season. But I continue to review it for the viewers, for you guys, the ones that give me the feedback. That's the only reason why I still have the feeds also because half the time when I watch the feeds, I watch them for two seconds and I cut them off. I'm like, I can't even deal with this. I catch up on like Twitter and Tumblr and um, Facebook for the most part to see what's going on and I go on about my day. I mean, honestly, I... I can't understand why a lot of people are canceling their feeds, why a lot of people are just like, F this, I'm not watching till finale night. I'll keep you guys informed. I don't mind. But as of right now, all my faves are gone. Um, I might respect Vanessa's hustle, but that doesn't mean I like her. I'm not a fan of the twins because they've been saying some questionable things on the feeds. If you don't know, Google them, look them up. 
But I'm going to respect that this is a game like I do every year. I don't have to agree with what everybody's saying every year. And yes, I do know and have known for years that I'm on the outside looking in. However, this season has turned into a joke because the strongest competitors have been taken out and all we're left with is people like Vanessa who runs around this house like being completely paranoid and second guessing everything she's doing to the point where it's making everybody else just completely upset all the time. Then you have Austin who barely does anything, Julia who just won something tonight, Liz has won a few things, but I wouldn't call her the greatest player in Big Brother history. You have Steve and Johnny Mac, whose main purpose in still, I guess, existing in the game, despite the fact that John just returned to the game last week, is because they want to be pawns and put up and throw competitions and such like that. I mean... To be honest, this season is a joke to me, but I continue to do these reviews because of you guys, the viewers, because I want you guys to know that you're not the only person who feels a certain way about this season, and I can respect if you like this season. I'm not here to trash you on that. I'm just giving my opinion, and if you don't like this season, let me know in the comments. If you like it, let me know. But we all can agree that tonight's episode was mind-boggling and crazy. And I'm still trying to figure out how these twins are still in this house. But you guys take care. I'm Sage Valentine. Don't forget to rate this video. Leave your comments. Let me know what you thought about this episode and this season so far. And hit me up on Google Plus and Twitter at Sage Valentine. This is the last review I'm doing for tonight. I am off to go watch Zoo. Or probably Dust Till Dawn because I started watching that on Netflix. But you all take care. I love you all. I respect all your opinions. And I mean that. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>